Today is Technical Tip Tuesday here from Virtual Vascular Lab. My name is Jeannie White Melendez and I hope to prove to you um, a concept that wasn't so easy for me to understand at first. Vein diameter does not determine reflux time, the size of the varicosity does. And one last thing, I know we didn't do too well this past weekend, but go Gators! Just a quick review, capacitance, or specifically vascular capacitance, is the measure of a blood vessel's ability to increase the volume of blood it holds without a large increase in blood pressure. Also, veins, we know, are the body's reservoir, or if we want to think about it as just blood storage. We know that between 60 and 70% of the body's blood volume is usually contained in the veins. And in the standing position, we know that hydrostatic pressure is at, is at play and greatest in the lower parts of the leg. So let's think about the effects of size and extent of refluxing that occurs in the vein as it empties into the venous reservoir. A large diameter incompetent vein emptying into a small capacitor or small vein will yield a high peak velocity with short duration versus a small diameter refluxing vein emptying into a large capacitor or vein that is going to yield a low velocity tracing of a long duration. Okay, so let's apply this to the real world. Here's a couple of patients that I scanned. On the left, you're going to see the right great sapness vein. It measures about 14 millimeters. Um, you'll see on the bottom that the reflux time was about 1.7 seconds. Uh, so not that long in duration for that size of vein. However, the velocities are very high, even though there's a short duration. If you look at the right side, that's the small sapness. That's a 14 millimeter, almost 15 millimeter small sapness vein. So it too is large. And again, we have a high velocity with a short duration of reflux. So why would that be? Well, in both cases, think about it. If the vein is the reservoir, if most of the blood is in the main trunk of that vessel, and there aren't a lot of large varicosities in the leg, then you're not going to get the duration times that you would get if you did have a lot of large varicosities. So in both of these cases for these patients, they had large truncal veins with not very large varicosities. What about a small diameter vein emptying into really large varicosities. So here's an example of a patient that I had. At the SFJ on the left, her vein was 7.6 millimeters. Not terribly small, but not terribly large either. However, as you moved into her thigh, her vein became very small. It was only 2.3 millimeters. And much to my surprise, when I assessed her for reflux. Obviously she was in the standing position because that's the only way that I'll do that because of hydrostatic pressure. She had a tremendous amount of reflux, a very uh, low velocity tracing, you know, around 20, but a very long duration. The next clip will be a video of that tracing. So in summary, duration of retrograde flow in a vein is related to the size of the reservoir, not to, quote unquote, how bad the reflux is. A small main trunk with tons of varicosities should not be thought of as not as bad as a large trunk with small varicosities. I hope you enjoyed the Technical Tip Tuesday for today. 
Have a great rest of the week. Thank you.